Let's talk about Jessica Jones season two. I'll start at the beginning. My whole family was killed in a car accident. Someone did horrific experiments on me. I was abducted, raped, and forced to kill someone. And I'm in here, bouncing a goddamn ball! So, how is anger management? Still angry. The character Jessica Jones first appeared in the 2001 comic Alias, and in 2015 she made her live action debut in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You're one of them. Moron. Season 2 finds Jessica trying to put her life back together following the events with Kilgrave in Season 1, and takes place between the events of Season 1 of the Runaways TV series and Season 5 of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. series. The season has received mostly positive reviews from critics, again praising Christian Ritter's performance as Jessica Jones. People I care about are in danger. I'm a huge fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I really like everything they've done. Except for Inhumans, what happened there? But I loved the first season of Jessica Jones, and I really enjoyed The Defenders, so I've been looking forward to season two, and I really liked it a lot. It's hard to say if I liked it better than the first season, but it's at least a very close second. The cast was fantastic, and like most of the critics, I think Kristen Ritter gives an amazing performance as Jessica Jones. Anything to add, Ms. Jones. Yeah, I always do with threats head on, meaning I punch them in the head until they're unconscious. Okay, now I'm gonna spoil some stuff for Jessica Jones season two, so if you haven't finished the season, you should wait to finish this till you have. Third glass tonight. Put it on my tab. You drinking to remember or forget? Giving a shit won't get you a better tip. Can't help looking back. I really love all of the references to other films and series in the MCU. We see Josie's bar and Foggy Nelson from the Daredevil series, Oscar's son asking Jessica if she knows Captain America, the references to the RAF super prison from Captain America Civil War, they imprison Jessica's mom Alyssa in cell block D, which is the same cell block the Punisher and Wilson Fisk had spent some time in. And Turk Barrett helps out Jerry with some shady business, which seems to be his specialty. And speaking of Jerry, I really enjoyed her story this season. Man, you really do not want to mess with Jerry Hogarth. Or Trish Walker for that matter. Trish definitely went off the rails this season. I really enjoyed all of the hints to Trish's future as Hellcat. Scratching the guy's face when she was saving Malcolm from the three jerks. Taking the feline drug from the vet and when the nurse says that she's used two of her nine lives. I also really enjoyed Malcolm's arc this season as well. I didn't ask for any of this. Jessica might not want a sidekick, but she needs one. You're not super. You're ticking time off. Keep telling me who I am. How dare you? What if facing it makes me worse? What are you gonna do? I don't know. Depends on if I can get through this night without losing my shit. Jessica Jones! It takes a monster to stop a monster. What did they do to us? So what did you guys think of season two? Are you looking forward to season three? Let's talk in the comments below. Why not click that subscribe button? And how about a thumbs up? See you in space.